welcome to The Sweeter Life with Unique Nutrition. I'm Kate. And I'm Lauren. And, and today we're going to cook a carrot cake. We are. But a healthy version. A healthier Our version. A healthier version. So this is not an everyday food. It is a healthier version of your traditional carrot Traditional cake. carrot cake, which we all know is a pretty indulgent treat with your oil and especially the cream cheese icing. So we're actually yeah. going to show you a little bit of a twist on a cream cheese yeah. icing, um, a substitute that you could do. And you'll never go back to the normal carrot cake again. This is also um, something that you could use instead of a Christmas cake on Christmas Day. Yeah, that's a really good yeah. idea actually. I want to make this for Christmas dessert. Mm. I, I've been lumped with Christmas dessert okay. this year. So that's your job. I'm going to do this. Yeah. All right. Because Christmas so. cakes traditionally have a lot of sugar in just from the fruit. So yeah. we will probably like to steer away from those uh, yeah. at Christmas time if we can. And this is a sugar-free version it because is. we're using the baking napia. Yep. So this is a finer version of the canister exactly. napia. Yep. Perfect for cooking. And this is a really simple recipe. We're just throwing everything in the one bowl. I don't want to do anything fancy with dry versus wet ingredients. We're just going to chuck it all in, mix yep. it, and then put it in the oven, basically. We don't do two bowls. No. So we are starting with about two cups of wholemeal self-raising flour. I, You yep. can use a plain flour and add a bit of baking powder, but I'm just going to go ahead and start using the yeah. self-raising. So it we put that in our bowl. It probably works out the same cost-wise. Exactly. So. And of course, it wouldn't be a carrot cake without carrot. Yeah. But so that's about three... It's about three to four cups. Um, about three medium carrots. Look, you don't have to be exact with um, the carrot measurements as long as you've got... No. And this is really good because this is your this is your volume agent. So carrots are fantastic. They're really high in vitamin A. So it's you know it's good for you. It's going to keep you full. And it actually makes the cake quite nice and moist, moist. as well. Yeah. Well, because we know carrots are like normal vegetables yeah. are made up of fibre and water. So that's pretty much all we've got going on here. We've also got uh, a LSA meal. We can use an almond meal, you could use crushed walnuts, but this is an LSA, which is? Yeah. It's a linseed mix and it, it's really, really good for <laughs> when you're perhaps, oh, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, say it. When you're We're open. Up. <laughs> it's really good, it's full of fibres. So it's actually a really fantastic product to help move through digestion. Digestion is up. fine to talk about. Yes. We'll, We're all know. friends here. Exactly. <laughs> so we'll add that in. So we can. if you don't want to use a nut, you can use the coconut uh, flour. Coconut flour, yeah. And well, basically any other sort of flour. Yeah, really exactly. And if you were had an aversion to coconut or coconut flour as well, look, you can just add some more self-raising flour. It might not yeah. be as dense, but you're still going to get a really nice result. Absolutely. And of course, our natvia for baking, I don't need to dissolve this prior to use. It will dissolve nicely when it's in the oven for cooking time. I've also got four whole eggs. If you wanted to try and cut down a bit on your fats, you could use just egg whites, but yeah. do you know what? This is a sometimes food, so. And eggs give you, do they give you the whole protein? Yeah, is they that... do. E eggs are a whole protein and you get the fats in the yolk and the protein as well. It, that's mainly made up in yeah. egg whites. But it's, look, use the whole eggs. This is, again. Don't be scared a... of eggs. Look, yeah. There was, what, a few years ago, 10 years yeah, ago, eggs were. Was low fat. Yeah, eggs, eggs are bad. Food. Eggs are amazing. Eggs are amazing. They are a superfood. Exactly. They're really, really good for you. So don't be afraid to use exactly. them. Exactly. Uh, our special carrot cake ingredient, which is cinnamon another superfood super and food. a carrot cake wouldn't be a carrot cake without cinnamon. You'll find actually with a lot of our recipes we do add cinnamon uh, because it's, it, it is a superfood. It's an insulin mimicker so it helps move the sugar in your body into the right areas instead of it being stored as fat. So we actually want this. We, we want to do that. So And it tastes add, delicious. And, it, and so. it does. Yeah. And our final ingredient is our fat element. I'm using just a normal vegetable oil from the supermarket. Fairly cheap. If you wanted to go a little bit more pure and superfood, and you could use a coconut oil, but I, yeah. we understand that Christmas can be pretty expensive for people, so we don't want to, you know, say that you have to use all of these expensive ingredients. So for this, vegetable oil is fine. It's, it's yeah, it's really good for budget. Yeah. But it's also once again, let's not be too afraid of fats. We yeah. need them in our diet, and again, we're not eating this every day. Yeah. This is a sometimes food as Elmo would say. Which is really upsetting because <laughs> I'd like to eat this every yeah, day. I, I would have to eat yeah. this every So day. what we do is we just give it a mix very daintily like I'm doing <laughs> and get in, in there. Muscles. It will be um, quite a dense mixture, so not too runny. 
There we go. And in the meantime, I'll get my assistant Lauren. <laughs> do you want to do the cake tin or you yeah. keep mixing? I'll keep mixing. So I'll it's about it. a 25 centimetre spring form tin, which makes our cake come out very nicely. So if you didn't have a spring form... You could just do you? a normal tin. I'd make sure it was greased really well yeah. um, because these make it a lot easier to get the cake out. And you could even put a few strips of baking paper along. You don't need to cover the whole thing in baking paper, just so you can get a bit of a lift yeah. when it comes out of the oven. But for this, I don't need any baking paper, just a bit of a spray, a spray. of olive oil. Doo, doo, doo. And that should be fine. And then all we do is put it in the cake tin. In. And I can do this with Are you this okay with that? Are you you're yeah. right? Look, I'm I'm not the neat, and, and Kate will attest to this, I'm not the neatest cook. No. Um, but you know, yeah, get it's it all in about there. Having a bit of fun, exactly. Isn't it? Experimenting in yep. the kitchen, so we just want to get this evenly out into the pan. Yeah, you don't have to be too careful with it. Um, it'll settle when it's in the oven. Yeah, use get your hands. Stuck in. Don't fine. Be afraid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> test it. Taste test as you go along. That's exactly. Uh, that will then go into a preheated oven about 170 degrees depending on your oven and that will take a fair while to cook about 35 to 40 minutes so check it after 30 minutes if you insert a, a clean knife into the center when that comes out clean it's cooked so and we also don't want to cook um, overcook the carrot cake because we like it to be nice and moist, moist. and a bit gooey yeah, inside we don't as want well cake. exactly so into the oven and that's our carrot cake. So while the cake is cooking, we're going to make our topping, which traditionally is a really indulgent cream cheese icing, which is delicious, but also but it's not good for us. <laughs> so this is a really good alternative. What we're using here is the Chobani yogurt. This is uh, fat free uh, because we don't need any extra fat in this dish. We've exactly. used it in the oils and the eggs, so we've got enough. The Chobani yogurt's really, really good because it's actually uh, really, really high in protein, much more so than most of your other brands of yogurt. yogurt out on the market. And the reason being is that they actually strain this in the traditional Greek way um, of, of doing their Greek yogurt. Which is why you get a really thick consistency. Really it actually thick. by itself almost mimics a cream cheese icing Absolutely. without even doing anything to it. And there's no thickness used in that at all. Right. It's just the method yep. that they use. So. This is really good and then you're going to add your I'm adding um, quite a bit of natvia because I do still want it to be a really nice sweet yeah. uh, topping for it. And, and we don't need to worry because natvia is 100% natural. Exactly. So what we'll do is while the cake is cooking, I'll mix this and I'll let it sit for a while so it does dissolve nicely and we yeah. get a nice smooth consistency. I'm also, just for a bit of fun, going to add some vanilla bean paste to give it another dimension of flavour. Now, if you're, again, worried about cost with this recipe, yeah. you can use a vanilla essence, exactly. a vanilla extract. They're cheaper options. Yeah. They do the same job. But that vanilla paste goes a long way. It, a little it, bit goes a really long actually. way. It, it lasts a lot with a lot of recipes. Yeah. The beauty of using the vanilla bean paste, though, is you get this really beautiful uh, spots of, speckles. The, the speckles yeah. of, of the vanilla pot yeah. in there, which is just really nice. It's really exciting. That there we go. Really and that's it. That's it. So that will then go into the fridge while our cake is cooking just to get it um, nice and cold and make it Dissolve set a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. Our cake is cooled. It's out of the oven. We've taken it out of the tin, displayed it on a lovely cake stand. It so it's delicious. It's time to serve. So yeah. we are going to cut a... Not a too big a slice. We don't want to go overboard. Just a, you know, nice the medium serve. Place it on a bowl. And we can see that it's still quite nice and moist and a bit gooey inside. And then we'll top it with our yeah, we're gonna pop faux cream cheese icing. Uh, so we've just put this Excellent. In. Oh. If you were only cooking, if there was only two of you, um, even four of you, this freezes really well. So you can portion it up into portion sizes, wrap them in glam wrap, pop them in the freezer and just take them out whenever you feel Let like a piece of, exactly. Yeah. Then you, you know, take away the temptation for eating it Absolutely. all the time. Absolutely, if it's locked away in the freezer, you can only have it once it's defrosted, exactly. it's gonna take a little while. Exactly. So this, we get about 
16, yeah, these. yeah, so, definitely. You know, it's a sizable, yeah, a sizable portion. Too. If you did want to go down the road of the cream cheese, you could actually just substitute out the icing sugar for Natvia, and you'd still get a, the same result. So it'll just be still your butter and cream cheese yeah. in there. But and actually, a really good way of doing that is grinding up the Natvia in a food processor so that it's really exactly. fine, like icing sugar. Yeah, so that would be a really good way of of utilizing yeah. that. And get the same result. Exactly. There's our Christmas delicious carrot cakes. Yum. Yeah.